So I know you guys have experienced this. You're gonna just do a simple project and it turns into a uh, all day nightmare, you know what I mean? <laughs> so what you're looking at is my Billy Goat brush cutter. It's a 2008 and I bought it used from a equipment rental place. You know, after they get so many hours, they sell them and get new ones. So this has got a Honda motor on it. It's been great. You know, I can park it one year, two years, one pull, she starts right up, runs great, had no issues. But the uh, tires are somewhat dry rot and the valve stems are leaking, so they don't hold air. I'm assuming these are probably the original tires on this thing, so that makes them 12 years old. So I got some new, new tires. I got a deal on them off the internet. So I figured, oh sweet, you know, got this simple little C-clip, just remove these, pull them off and I'm good to go. I'll go down the road. There's an equipment place and you know they can pull them off the rim and put uh, the new ones on well no go <laughs> so if they did put any c's on it when they originally put this together it's giving up the ghost if they didn't and they just slid it on then yeah this baby is rusted hard i've used uh solvents used heat used bfh so I'm gonna have to go to the master plan. I was able to dig out a couple of my uh, puller sets. I think the plan is gonna be to weld a couple nuts on here. I can have a pull point because there's no pull point here, unfortunately, to grip, like a uh, power steering pulley. And then I'm gonna you know, pull her off, but you know, quick little project turning an all-day affair I know you guys can relate so let me get at it well to give you an update it's defeating me so pain in the ass axle tire combo one Tom zero <laughs> don't know if you can see right there but actually pulling the threads out so you know, even using the puller, heating and beating and keeping tension on it, she just doesn't want to come off. So I think I'm going to have to unbolt that axle, get it out from under it, and try to attack it that way. Not the way I wanted to spend my day. Well, it's a new day, and I figured let's go around two with that wheel. Because <laughs> uh, I don't give up so easily. So I figured uh, we'd give it another shot. If we destroy it, no big deal. I'd rather destroy it than pay somebody to destroy it. So I uh, got my snap-on socks on, got my steel toe shoes. I am ready to battle. I think the plan is gonna be, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill through holes through this rim and that way I can put a washer and I can double nut it on the back side put the puller on it and I even brought my Big Mac Daddy half inch drive Ingersoll Rand 244 with the high flow air fitting so I can put some arse to it and I can get to my oxyacetylene set up so I think and if we put the you know mamba jumbo heat to this thing hopefully that'll break it that propane might not have uh, ran hot enough to get that rust to let loose. So that's the plan. Let me get you set up on a tripod and we'll get to work. If you guys are curious, this is a kit I'm using. I got it from a cornwheel dealer about, uh, I don't know, 15 plus years ago. It's a nice kit. This is the part number. I don't know if they still sell it anymore. Looks like it's uh, OWC. 6501 <laughs> I know 110 bucks back in the day This may be an uh, rebranded OTC kit. I'm not sure But uh, I figured I'll show you to you. It's been a real good kit I use it for a lot of stuff Okay, so holes are drilled bolts in some uh, high-pressure lube on the screw and also in the point 
going into this axle just kind of got her snug let's just see I mean, I'll put uh, some penetrating lube trying to help loosen it up I didn't have access to my 50% uh, ATF 50% acetone or uh, you know deep creep or all that I just had to use some cheap spray that I had uh, access to so don't know if it did any good or not we'll just kind of just see how she's feeling today before I pull the impact out and the heat looks like she's still pulling straight bottom looks good and might just be digging a hole in this axle I think this uh this axle is not a uh, quality steel come on baby give Tom some love today Going on something. All right, with the pressure on, let me go uh, get the torch and get some heat on this thing. Hang on. Oh, let's see here. What's my settling at? Come on, baby. Oh, let go. BFH. Much room. Don't give me much room in there. I want to hit the axle. Ah, come on. I know you shouldn't use a chrome socket, but it's all I got out here in the barn. I can go back to the garage and get my impacts if I need it, but... Ah! Are you kidding me? Help do it the right way, wouldn't it, Tom? Ah! I'm the daddy. Start to pull a little sideways. I'm looking to it on the camera.
pulling the bottom up through. Let me show you. See that down there? Up the can on the camera. Good grief. I may have to go to uh, option three, plasma torch. Well, I was really hoping this thing wouldn't fight me the whole way, but looks like it is. <laughs> ah, 12 years of rust. So I'll get my plasma cutter out. And basically we'll just cut this rim off snacks and then I'll have to uh, get my little air grinder cut off wheel and just uh, separate this tube here so I can get to it and you know a little bit of chisel work and whatnot and then we can open her up and get her off but geez that's a lot of work and that's one then we got to do number two so I sure wish they'd use anti seize. Well, it didn't go through the back side, so I'm going to have to cut the back side. All right. Yeah, baby, I got you. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. All righty. Let me get her out of here and get her off. About time I'm winning. Well, there she is, all her glory. <laughs> Making a little progress. So, I was able to dig out uh, my abrasive disc here, so I got a cut off. I got this battery powered one. This is a DeWalt 20 volt with the conversion because this is an 18 volt tool can't get to my corded ones they're packed up in one of those bins and I don't know which bin it is and I'm not gonna tear into the whole place trying to find it so we'll just uh, I got two batteries so we'll just swap them back and forth if I burn through and you know make a slice down to the axle you know it's gonna be a little bit close right there get the chisel I've got the oxycetylene and hopefully we can finally separate this thing and uh, it'll give up the ghost for me so let me get to cutting. I'm not going to bore you with it. And I'll bring you back. Well, as you can see, I'm making progress, but she is fighting me the whole way. My God. Just won't let go. So I've got the backside already cut. I've heated it up. I've been pounding on it. You can see the key right there. Taking a break, but we've gotten that much. So, probably got maybe an inch to go. I get this puppy off and victory of course it's only one size <laughs> we gotta get that one next jeez all right victory oh man 
just think little anti seeds would have gone a long way wow all right well <laughs> i'll uh save you having to watch the next two hours trying to get that one off <laughs> and i'll bring you back on that one off and this axle is ready to go okay second one is off now that I know what uh, works this came off pretty quick probably 10 minutes maybe at the most so yay on that just have to clean all that rust off and of course when we put it back together we're gonna slop her down with some anti seize and the old snap on chisel set worked awesome not even uh, any deformation or anything so bought it when it was on sale and I do like well tools made in USA doesn't necessarily mean I guess this is made in USA doesn't say it so all right now uh, hopefully when I go to the uh, lawn mower repair and equipment place on uh, Tuesday because when I'm filming this, this is Memorial Weekend and everything's closed tomorrow on Monday. They can get me those rims. If not, I'll have to scour the internet. <laughs> what is sad is I was able to find a listing for the rims and tires all together for like 150 bucks. But I'm like, nah, I don't need those. I just need new tire treads. Who would have thought that this would be such a an ordeal? So now I need them anyway. So now I've got to find somebody just to sell the rims. Hopefully I can get them at a very good price and we can get this thing back together and I can get cut to uh, you know mowing the uh, thick grass and brush so stay tuned guys so it's been a couple days let me give you guys an update contacting a local equipment place here in town and they can get or there's kind of an authorized dealer for billy goat stuff so that was cool um bad thing is <laughs> i can get the wheel and tire combo but i cannot get just the uh, the wheel itself because as you guys know i found a screaming deal on the internet so i bought two new tires so i really don't need the wheels but that's the only way billy goat will sell them so a little bit of a bummer so i gotta spend extra money to buy two wheels and tires and i guess i can go ahead and you know wrap these up good and uh hopefully they'll stay in uh you know like new condition because i won't need them for like another 15 years or so <laughs> um and it is going to take about two weeks is what the guy said over there at the equipment place for it to come in and the grass has grown so i need to get the riding lawnmower out. I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'll uh, wire wheel all the rust off of the axles. You know, take a file, make sure I didn't put any burrs on them. Go ahead and mount the axle in, and then uh, either drag this thing out or maybe get a pallet underneath it, and then I can come in with my forklift, lift it up, and I'll just stick it over there for the time being. Let it hang out over there for a couple weeks until the tires and wheel combos come in and that way I can have easy access to the riding lawn mower. So that's where we're at and um, I guess just hang out and I'll bring you guys back once the, the tires and wheels come in. As you can see the tires and rims came in so pretty stoked we can get back on this project. A uh, couple bummers is one they were expensive but uh, I mean, what do you do? The only place you can get these things is from the original manufacturer, so they kind of got you over the barrel on that. And being that these are one directional, I guess they didn't think about when I ordered two that the valve stem should be on each side, but they're not. So it means one tire will be right, and the other tire, the valve stem is going to be on the inside. So a little bit of a bummer on that. I didn't feel like pain. A few bucks to have the you know the tire removed turned around and reinstalled so it, it is what it is on there and I'm guessing since these are the only ones you can get that the uh, newer models have been redesigned a little bit 
So this is obviously for the newer models and it fits the older models. But the difference is, if you look how much is sticking out of the rim, it should be sticking out a little bit farther the way my original one was. So remember this? So if this is the rim, then I've got this much sticking out. Kind of a spacer to space the wheel off the body of the brush cutter. So we're gonna have to uh, obviously just do a spacer. I picked up a piece of galvanized pipe, nothing fancy and some washers, three quarter inch ID. So I'll be just fine, you know, cut this here, cut the threads off and we'll get whatever length we need once we get them mounted. So let's get this uh, drive axle cleaned up. Alrighty, the axle is finally in. It was a pain trying to hold the heavy thing, keeping the belt up on the pulley, and wanting to fall, trying to get bolt holes lined up. But we're there now. The only thing I did find, hopefully, you guys can see that this bracket is broken. It's an L bracket, probably just helps with the axle not uh, twisting up from torque. So I've already ground it off, and I'm just going to run a bead of weld up under there. Get her back to how she should be and then uh, we'll get these oh excuse me but we'll get the uh, wheels and tires on and this project will be done because I don't have a shop or a vice we got to improvise Hopefully the sun isn't washing us out. I'm gonna go uh, one and three eighths. One spacer, we'll give it a shot. Hopefully I got you in a good spot. The sun is changing on me here. I had to put the gloves on because you know how this stuff is. Just looking at the bottle gets all over you. So we're gonna grease this baby down. This is what they should have done from the begin with. Unless they did and it just somehow dissipated and didn't do its job, but I don't think so. I'm thinking, nah. Now when I got to change these in about 15 years, I'll slide right off. We won't have any problems. It should have been a two minute job instead of a, geez, I don't know how many, I got two hours in this thing at least, three, four hours. Get a little bit extra on there, that key. So it should slide good. All right, let's get a tire on. These fancy tires. So, all right, so this valve stem will be sticking out. The other one will be on the inside, unfortunately. 
lined up here. Key wants to move on me. Of course. This way then. You gonna fight me the whole time? Uh, there we go. Finally, sweet. Let's put this on. Get our e clip. We got us a wheel. Awesome. Let me do the other side. Well, guys, I appreciate you uh, following along. Hope you enjoyed the uh, repair to the Billy Goat brush cutter. Unfortunately, it was going to be an easy one. If you watch the uh, video from <laughs> Billy Goat Factory, you know, oh yeah, we just take the C-clip off, we slide the old one on, we slide the new one on, put the C-clip on, boom. I mean, it's actually, you know, less than two minute video on YouTube showing how to, uh, you know, swap out the, uh, the wheels and tires. <laughs> I wish it was that easy, but it wasn't. So if you're uh, one of those guys or girls that has an old Billy Goat brush cutter, you're probably gonna run into the same problems. You know the wheel is going to be uh, rusted on the shaft so you're going to have to uh, you know work at it to get it off that's the way i did it you know you may get uh, lucky and just a little bit of heat may work or a puller may work for you but mine were just all rusted on you saw what i had to do eventually just had to cut them off so we are good to go i'm going to go uh mow the back 40. <laughs> thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and we'll catch you guys later